Now, I want to talk about Big Bang Theory, since both of you guys were on it. Is that how you met? No. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's no. actually just a coincidence. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, that's just, we, um, we met, well, actually, I've known about Kevin for, for years, and when I started going out for commercials in the late 90s, uh, when did you start going out for commercials? That was like 98, well, actually, like 99 for me. When did you start going out? Probably before that. I'm bad with dates, so. Okay. Let's say 97 for Kevin. Um, <laughs> and, because uh, it rhymes. But we were, I mean, the thing about, about going out for commercials at that time is that it was the dot-com boom. Uh-huh. So if you were, if you had sort of a nerdy look, you would go out like six or seven times a week. Uh-huh. You, were uh-huh. like, you would go out like a fashion model, basically. <laughs> and because they were constantly like, yeah, they need the techie guy for this dot-com that's going to be under in three months. But oh, they're, they're shooting a commercial right now. And right. it was a very, very exciting time for people to be blunt, for people who look like us to get into commercial acting. (laughs) But Kevin used to book things out from under me all the time. And finally, I looked him up on a call sheet. I was like, who is this guy who keeps taking my work? (laughs) And uh, and then he kept showing up in all this. He showed up in Wet Hot. I remember seeing Wet Hot opening weekend. I was like, ah, Sussman! Oh, man. And then through a series of other coincidences, he ended up on a show called Ugly Betty with a friend of mine. Oh, uh-huh, all right. And, uh, and I was like, oh, all right, well, this guy's just up in my grill constantly. I might as well. Uh, I cannot beat him, so I clearly <laughs> must join him. <laughs> join him. And, uh, and, and we've been fast friends ever since. And then the Big Bang thing was just, we, we, started, we, did, it, we did our first ones within a couple of weeks of each other, didn't we? Oh, cool. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. And, and, we, and we, keep, we keep sort of nudging them to get us in a scene together. To nice. Yeah, we've, we've never actually worked together on the show. Yeah. They refuse. Uh, I they refuse. <laughs> it's a conspiracy. Let everyone within the sound of my voice rise up. Uh, no, they just they can't find a reason for my character to get into the comic book shop where Kevin's character works, which is beyond me. But maybe yeah, how could a how could a you know college professor who's kind of nerdy and has a speech impediment he wouldn't love comic books? I know, yeah, <laughs> like he wouldn't be in there constantly researching Lex Luthor. Uh, right, uh, <laughs> that's a very good idea. Uh, I yeah, I'll write the thing if I have to. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. You have done a ton of commercials, right, Kevin? Like over, over thirty yes, nationals I, or more than that? Or? Yes, yes. Um, most of them were during the whole dot com thing to date myself a little, I guess, because at the (laughs) time I had beautiful flowing curly locks, and that does real well for the nerd thing. Uh, (laughs) Okay. You had the Jufro to beat at the time, so uh, her laryngitis will be uh, cured. There's a gentleman uh, standing through the window (laughs) with uh, the punk rock jacket from the Reagan era. Yeah, and he's got Uh, kind of an iced tea on his shirt, though. He does have an iced tea on his shirt. He has a... uh, um, (laughs) can, Can you hear me, friend? Because I can't yeah, hear you. Yeah, okay, yeah. let me ask you this, uh, young punk rock gentleman. No, no, don't give him a mic. Um, <laughs> let me ask you this: uh, You have a uh, lock around your uh, neck. Do you know where the key is? All right, oh, all right. No. He's authentic. All right, he gives me the, he gives me the thumbs down on that. Because if you knew where the key was, I was going to call you a poser and come out right. there and kick. But you're fine. You seem down with the cause, kid. All right, my turn here. Uh, Kevin Sussman, what is your cell phone number? <laughs> <laughs> And you can make it up if you want to. It's no more beer. <laughs> so if I just start typing no more beer? Okay. Wow. Thank you for divulging that. How many? Qu- I think we got just, what, three more questions? Uh, I think I, so. Actually, I it? don't know. No, that's I, a note. I, I literally don't know my cell phone number. I, really? But I, <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty sure I'm not the only person. And, you know, I... There, there are people out there. Really, I'm the. Only <laughs> <laughs> I, think you might I mean, that, well, there are people that just got their phone, and for a while, you know, due to my laziness, I, you know, I, I refused to learn my phone number, and I, like I'd go have to fill out a form or something, and and I'd say, you know, oh, I just got this phone, I have to look it up, but now I just, I just pull out my phone. I don't even explain. I. I don't know my phone number. <laughs> I'm sorry. I don't know why I'm sorry. I don't know who, uh, but uh, may, it might be no more beer. It could be. <laughs> could be. Maybe a one in ten billion shot that it's no, no more beer. But give it a shot. I keep going back we'll to no, no more, more beer because it worked so well. But <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't know why I'm holding on to that. I should just try to move past that. We've got three minutes. Kevin, last, well, second to last question. Uh, when was the I'm last Iron time Man. you were? <laughs> <laughs> right, John Ross Bowie. Okay. You're in the pressure cooker. All right. On a scale of 1 to 10, 10 being extremely attractive, how attractive is Skylar? 
Uh, Skyler is a. I haven't seen him with his shirt off, but I'm going to go uh, seven nine, seven point nine. Seven point nine. That's, that's pretty right. decent. Way to go, Skyler. Would you like to see me with my shirt off to make that? Just, just let me see the sixer. Just, yeah. <laughs> really? The sixer. Yeah. yeah. Let me just see the sixer. Eight, eight, <laughs> eight, five for the Simpsons underwear. I can see peeking out there. Oh, we are getting in trouble tonight. We are. Wow. Okay. Underwear talk. Oh boy. All right. My turn. Um, John Ross Bowie. What is the sweetest thing you've ever said to an animal? Um, uh, boo, boo, don't pee there. <laughs> <laughs> now, it, it was boo the animal's name, or were you just booing? No, I was just, it was my first dog, and I didn't know how to impart negativity other than say boo. Okay. So that's what I, I said. Oh, did, it, did it stop? No, it did not. Oh, man. No, no oh. it didn't understand my theatrical lingo. <laughs> I understand. All right, uh, John Ross Valley. This is your third of five questions. Okay. If you highly doubt that you're going to ever be on the show again, blink twice. Watch him closely. Time's up. He hasn't blinked. Well, there's one. I saw one. Just one, yeah, because I'm only blinking once. Because I think I'll probably come back at some point. I love the sound of that. Any excuse to come to Whittier. Exactly. Yeah. So we can go to Celebrity Burger. I can cross that off my list. Yes, we've passed Celebrity Burger. It's right on the corner of Broadway. That's, that's we finally correct. made it to Broadway. I never put that together on that.